are you caught in the thought of, I can't do it? You kind of feel like you're trapped in your mind. I just want you to know you're not alone. I've been there where you feel like, you know, no matter what you do or what you say or the plan that you come up with, it just never seems to work out. It doesn't make sense in the end or there's a reason why it doesn't work. And so you just get, you know, all these thoughts running through your head, right? Well, I can't do anything about this. You know, I've tried. You know, for years, um, I dealt with, and, and still do to a certain point today uh, when something happens, but at a time period where it was really severe of, you know, I can't deal with the messes that I've created in my life. I can't go back and make all of these things right. I can't, you know, I don't have the time or I don't have the strength or I definitely, you know, from the embarrassing side, you know, how is this going to go? And so when those thoughts would come along, just do something else. Focus on something else. Go do something else. Is that where you are right now? Is that kind of what's going on? You know, you're just shuffling these thoughts back and forth in your mind because you don't want to ultimately face the music, as they would say. I guess you, you know, some would say. Um, this is what I recently, you know, wrote about in my book, uh, which you can get a free copy of. It's called Modern Day Jonah. You can download it at handlinglife.org. But this is uh, one of the things I wrote. Uh, the chapter title here is I Can't Face the Consequences. It says, I was stalling. I knew what I had to do. And had I done things in a timely manner, you know, I could have avoided the consequences. Or I could have avoided the severity of the consequences. And that's kind of where you are. It's where everybody is. At any given point, if we stop where we are now, you know, if we stop doing the bad thing, right? If we stop, you know, engaging in that attitude or engaging in that conflict or bitterness or whatever, the sooner we stop it, uh, the sooner we're able to deal with it and the more we're able to avoid uh, from that, you know, situation. Um, you know, it's just those messes. You know, think about it this way. If you are currently dealing with the consequences of your actions, you're dealing with them right now. I was dealing with mine. You're dealing with your your actions and the consequences of them every day. Some consequences can be good, right? And some consequences can be bad. You know, but you're having a hard time dealing with these things. The consequences that are coming along from your past actions are hard to deal with. You know, so let me ask you this. If you're a believer, and you have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ, and you believe God's word is true. You believe it. Wouldn't it be easier to handle the things in your life, to handle these consequences with God on your side, with God as your friend? You know, God not only as, you know, your heavenly father, but somebody that you talk with and that you seek counsel from or you follow the things that he's given you in his scriptures of how to handle things. Because when you really break it down and get down to the, the bottom, the very bottom, the choice is really that you're deciding, and I've decided in the past at times, more often in the past, of, to do things my way. And you're deciding to do things your way right now instead of doing them God's way. And now that you've gotten yourself trapped, the, the, you know, the thought of facing the consequences, facing the music is hard. I've been there. I struggled with it for years of, well, I don't want to do it. Or there was always some excuse. I don't have the time or the energy or, oh my gosh, I mean, definitely not going to go say sorry to that person. But I was doing it my way, which was causing problems. So, you know, I just want you to know, I mean, from the human side, from your side and my side, this is going to be hard. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it, right? Um, but there's benefits of doing it. Because when we're doing it God's way, you know, we're able to have that relationship. We're able to have those blessings. We're able to have that comfort and that joy that James talks about. So start focusing on, like, you know, when you think about how can I get out of this? How can I face this? How can I overcome um, these thoughts of you know, dealing with the consequences? Well, the way you overcome that is you start focusing on all the good that God has done for you. 
all the things in the past, the times that you don't know how you you know, got out of that situation or you don't know where that job came from or you, you know, whatever it is. Healing took place or forgiveness took place and it was a God thing. Think about those things. Focus on those. How? What could God do in your life if you were really focusing on Him? And they'll praise Him and you know, really starts, you know, working on your relationship with God. Not just, you go to church, yes, find a good Bible-believing church, but don't just go to church on Sunday morning and think, hey, you know, everything's going to be grand the rest of the week. You know, find that daily time to spend time in God's Word. And then, you know, find someone that can, can work with you, that you can talk with, that you can sit down and say, hey, you know, can I share with you? I'm struggling on something, or I don't understand this. And then someone that you can have those conversations with, like, hey, how, how should I deal with this? You know, someone has really done me wrong. Someone hurt me. Or I've hurt someone. I really did them wrong. How do you see in God's word should I handle this? And then come up with a plan. And then once you come up with a plan, yes, it's going to be hard to do. But then once you do it, it's like you can feel the things lifting out of your life, like Pilgrim's Progress, the old book of, of the burdens falling off. And that's the real relationship with God in the sense of coming through life and going through things is that God is there if we will allow him to carry our burdens, to make our you know, loads lighter. Matthew talks about, come to me, you know, ye who are weary, and I will give you rest. God wants to give you rest. God wants to help you through your daily life. And you know it. If you're saved, you know it. The Holy Spirit's already, you know, pecking on you and tapping you on the shoulder. The question is, are you going to do it? And if you're being stopped by the thought of consequences, let me tell you right now, it's not going to get any better. It's not all of a sudden going to miraculously resolve itself. The things are just going to continue to pile on and pile on and pile on. So you'd be better off just you know, putting your foot down right now and saying, God, you know, I'm going to do this your way. I'm going to start handling my, my life the way you want me to. And hey, if you need some help on this, which I did, I had people help me and you know, still have people who help me. But you can go to handlinglife.org and you can download a free copy of this book. It's called Modern Day Jonah, Stop Surviving, Start Living. It's based on my life story of my struggles of uh, the things I've dealt with and, and from mind to physical to um, all that. But the great thing is it's Bible-based and Christ-centered. So everything that's coming out here of how should you deal with certain things or how does God's Word apply to this part of your life, it talks about it in this book. So I hope this will be a blessing to you, and I hope you'll take it to heart. I hope you'll share it with others. And again, if you want to learn more about this ministry or to download a copy of the book, you can go to handlinglife.org slash program.